The story of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Nashville District, can't be fully understood without an appreciation of the Cumberland River system. Hi, I'm Bob Snead, Chief of the Water Management Office here in the Nashville District. Today I'd like to take you on a journey around the district and explain the relationship that the Nashville District has with the Cumberland River Basin. The Cumberland River stretches from its humble beginnings in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in eastern Kentucky to its confluence with the mighty Ohio River in Smithland, Kentucky, nearly 700 miles downstream. Along the way, the Cumberland dips well into Tennessee and is fed by countless tributaries, large and small, where it serves as the drainage conduit for nearly 18,000 square miles, an area about the size of New Hampshire and Vermont combined. The Nashville District manages the Cumberland River Basin Reservoir System to provide valuable benefits for the communities it serves. Of these benefits, none are more important than the protection of lives and property. I think of us as a water resources agency, and so we provide a lot of value in how we develop a system and then ultimately how that system's operated. The Corps of Engineers operates 10 multi-purpose projects in the Cumberland Basin. All are unique and each serves a different set of congressionally mandated purposes. There are conflicting demands for water and in the management of the system we must balance these demands and these demands may be related to commercial navigation, production of hydropower, recreation, water quality concerns, and flood damage reduction. The most important project purpose for our system is flood damage reduction and we always take that into consideration when we make operational decisions. Flood damage reduction is of paramount importance for the Cumberland Basin and communities downstream. So let's start there. There are 10 projects within the Cumberland River Basin Reservoir System. They weren't all built for the same purpose. Nearly all of them, nine of the 10, produce hydropower, but only a select few, for example, have the ability to hold back water during periods of heavy rainfall or have what we would call flood control storage. The storage projects within the Cumberland system, like Percy Priest, where we are today, store water during periods of heavy rainfall and then release that water later once the threat of flooding downstream has gone away. However, it is important to understand the Corps has limits to where it can store water. The Corps' ability to manage water levels along the Cumberland River is directly tied to how we operate the releases from our storage projects. And those projects are Wolf Creek Dam, Dale Hollow Dam, Center Hill Dam, and J. Percy Priest Dam. However, if the rainfall falls along the Cumberland River and not above one of these storage projects, those flows will come directly into the Cumberland in an uncontrolled manner and can lead to flooding situations. Now that we've seen an example of a flood storage tributary project, Let's take a look at one of our main stem run of the river projects, which was not designed to store water, but instead designed for navigation and the production of hydropower. The locks and dams along the main Cumberland River uh, were authorized by Congress and designed and then built by the Corps, and they provide uh, navigation benefits and hydropower benefits, but we don't have the ability to store water here. For example, we're here at Old Hickory, and if you look here, the spillway gates at Old Hickory, there's only about a two foot difference between a normal lake level and when water is going to get to the top of the spillway gate. So when water does come up, uh, following heavy rain, there's no option but to open spillway gates and pass water downstream. While these projects have very little ability to hold back water, they do allow for commercial barge traffic to pass up and down the river through a series of locks. One of the primary missions for the projects along the main Cumberland River is commercial navigation. And here we see a tow approaching Old Hickory Lock. And a navigable channel is maintained in the Cumberland from about Salina, Tennessee, all the way to the Ohio River. In the end, even our storage projects have to release water, but that water doesn't go to waste. We're downstream of one of our storage projects. And you can see behind me that we have two ways to release water from projects like this either through spillway gates or through the hydropower turbines. The gates aren't in operation now, but the hydropower turbines are. We're releasing water that was stored during a period of heavy rainfall, and now it's being released in a controlled manner and also producing electricity in the process. 
The Corps of Engineers is the largest operator of hydroelectric power plants in the United States. The Nashville District operates nine power plants on the Cumberland River Basin with a total of 28 generators which supply enough electricity to power more than a quarter million homes with clean renewable energy. The Nashville District's water management program also includes a water quality mission. This focuses on temperature and dissolved oxygen, the two components where we have the most control. At certain times of the year, water quality becomes a concern. So the Corps takes action to improve dissolved oxygen and temperature conditions in the water that we manage. This includes water released through spillway gates, sluice gates, and in the case of Percy Priest, a fixed cone valve. Flood storage projects also help regulate water supply. Water stored in times of heavy rains is released when needed to supply the demands of communities downstream. Perhaps the most visible aspect of the Corps' river management responsibilities is recreation. The Corps is the largest federal provider of outdoor recreation in the nation. The Nashville District's lakes receive millions of visits each year. Corps lakes and recreation areas are more than just a great place to have fun and enjoy nature. They play a critical role in the area's economic development. Visitors to the Corps projects help support local businesses, provide hundreds of jobs and millions of dollars in revenue through private support services. The Corps projects also provide critical habitat for wildlife. So, the next time you turn on a light, enjoy a day out on the lake, or pour a glass of water, Remember that those things are made possible by the plentiful water resources within the Cumberland River Basin and the Corps' management of that resource. A lot of different things that are dependent on the moderation of flows in the Cumberland River. And that all goes back to the Nashville District Corps of Engineers and how that water is managed. Day in, day out, 365 days a year, we're taking a look at the system we're looking at rainfall, we're looking at stream flow, we're looking at demands for water, and we're making operational decisions to support a whole series of uses.